Hey guys, welcome to Drew's Reviews 1000 Subscriber Spectacular. <laughs> uh, first off, thanks everybody for getting me to 1000 subscribers. I uh, never thought I would get that many on YouTube when I first started uh, this journey back in 2015. So it's been, it'll be 10 years here very soon. Uh, so 10 years, 1000 subscribers. Most of those subscribers I picked up uh, pretty recently. I would say since COVID, um, probably three quarters of them or more. Um, but yeah, and I've still got pretty good retention. I think most of my videos I'm getting about a hundred or more views. So you're looking at maybe about a tenth of the subscriber base, uh, you know, tuning in on a regular basis. Really appreciate that, everybody. Um, so I thought I'd do something special. We're going to be reviewing five different chicken nuggets. Um, I will say there's one exclusion. I was going to go to Popeye's, um, but it's on the other end of town here in Moncton. I was in Dieppe, and it's just easier to keep things warm if I stay on this little area of Dieppe. So I did Harvey's, McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, and KFC. Burn me. But KFC doesn't have their nuggets anymore, so I did um, popcorn chicken. And uh, let's go over the prices first. So I tried to get the smallest piece available from each of the restaurants. And, oh, my eyes are killing me. Let me just see here. So I'm going to take my glasses off for a second. So Harvey's was a five piece and it came to $5.74 with tax. McDonald's was a six piece and it came to $7.58. That was the most expensive. Uh, Burger King was $4.60. And that was for an eight piece. KFC was five sixty nine, and that's for they have a popcorn fill up right now. It comes with a small popcorn, a fry, a gravy, and a plum sauce. So that was probably the best deal as far as getting like the most amount of food. And then uh, I didn't get a receipt from Wendy's, but Wendy's was three forty nine plus tax, so it came to four dollars after tax, and that's for a five piece. All right, so we're gonna start with Herbie's first because that's the oldest and it's probably gonna be the coldest. It's gonna keep stuff in my napkins in there. So I got dill sauce, which I feel is the strongest sauce from Herbie's. And again, this is a five piece nugget. And I've done quite a bit of Herbie's on my channel. Um, the frickles and specialty burgers and lots of different things from there, so. Let me try to grab a good nugget here. There you go, that's the nugget. A little bit of dill, now let's give it a try. Mm. Those Harvey's nuggets are still hot, that's good. No pop today, I'm drinking water. I figure I'm going to be pretty full after trying all these nuggets, so. Um, yeah, that's good. The garlic dill sauce is amazing. Um, let's try a nugget without any sauce on it. Their nuggets are good. They taste like their whole breast meat. The batter is nice and crispy. And yeah, I really like that one. Put that away sauce it next to it so I'm gonna try all these and then I'll rank them based on preference so that's Harvey's on to McDonald's now McDonald's nuggets are one of my favorite nuggets um, the price is not my favorite though they're very expensive for a 20 piece here in Canada it's like 20 bucks almost so when you're paying a dollar a nugget, it's it's not very affordable. Um, I got the hot mustard. That's my favorite sauce from McDonald's, at least at the moment. And let's give them a try. And I don't know if you know this, but the McDonald's nuggets come in three different shapes. I think it's a ball. Well, it's a ball boot and. Bell? I'm not sure. Ball boot bell. 
don't quote me on that guys you can look it up or correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but there's the nugget let's give it a dip and let's try it oh so the thing about mcdonald's nuggets once they get cold they lose a lot of their their goodness so another bite You know, lined up against other nuggets, they're actually pretty mid-tasting. Close that down. So right now, Harvey's is right at the top there. Wendy's is up next. And Wendy's, I got the... Yep. Ghost Pepper Ranch. I think it's the best. They don't have really good sauces at Wendy's, but Ghost Pepper Ranch is pretty tasty. It's fiery. It's got a kick to it. Um, I have no nails in this package. Does not want to open. Nope. Oh wait, 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 wait. I got it. I got it. I was gonna grab, I got some nail clippers there. I was gonna grab those to help me out, but. All right, so Ghost Pepper Ranch and a Wendy's Nugget. There it is. Let's give it a try. Oh, that is so spicy. <laughs> I forgot how hot that sauce was. Ooh. If you like spicy, I recommend Wendy's. Spicy chicken sandwich, the spicy ghost pepper sauce, lots of different options there. Um, I might put that Wendy's nugget actually above McDonald's. We'll wait and we'll see, but. I still think Harvey's has the best one so far. Now for Burger King. Burger King does not have good nuggets. They're cheap and affordable, which is great, but they're not good, which is not great. All right. So I got buffalo sauce. That's my favorite sauce from Burger King. I love me some buffalo. And let's give it a try. Uh, they're also the only place so far that's given me my nuggets in a bag as opposed to a um, a box. Try that. Hmm. That's pretty good. Again, Burger King suffers from if your nuggets get cold... That's not as good. But Burger King was one of the more recent ones I picked up, so they're still pretty warm. So far, only Harvey's has tasted like a real chicken breast. Everybody else has felt like processed chicken meat. And I know I'm gonna get that from KFC because it's popcorn chicken and that's what popcorn chicken is. So. Um, okay. So again, KFC was definitely the best value today. On a regular basis, no. Because you're gonna pay like seven, almost eight bucks I think for a small popcorn chicken. But with this particular offer, it's definitely the, the better of the deals. Um, so. You get a little popcorn chicken in a bag, a little fry in a bag, and then your plum sauce. But we're not going to try... You know what? I'll try their plum sauce too. Um, but first off, we're going to dip it in the gravy. So let's try a fry first. It's not part of the review, but it came with the meal, so why not? Nice, thick gravy. Mm. I really like KFC's gravy. Mm -hmm. The only gravy I'll say is better, in my opinion, is Popeye's gravy. I'm sorry I didn't go to Popeye's, guys. It just, it would have been a pain in the butt to 
to go up into that area of town. So, um, but yeah, the KFC gravy is great. The flavor, and it's nice and thick today too. Sometimes they'll make it so it's um, kind of runny. All depends on who's making it. But all right, so popcorn chicken. We're gonna consider this a nugget going in. You know, that's actually probably closer to Herbie's than it is any of the other processed chicken ones. It actually feels a little more full chicken breasty. I know it's not, but like the texture is really good on it. Put that in there. Oh, I said I was going to try the plum sauce. Let's try the plum sauce. This is the only sauce I usually get there. Their honey mustard is like a honey mustard bistro sauce, so I'm not a big fan of it. Um, and then their barbecue sauce. I've never been a huge barbecue sauce person for chicken anyway, so. Let's give their plum a little try here. Yeah, it's pretty plain. Okay. So, let's rank. Dead last, we're going to have to put Burger King. Um, mainly because, again, they don't retain the... Oh, sorry guys, my car is yelling at me. I'm just going to quickly open the door and close it. I had the keys there, it was killing the battery. Um, so yeah, the, the Burger King ones don't retain well Like if they get cold. Um, they're the best value for the money, so you pay four bucks with tax for eight. Um, but their their flavor's not great, um, and the texture's pretty plain, so I'm going to put them at fifth. Um, fourth, surprisingly, I'm going to put McDonald's. I never realized how low-tier McDonald's nuggets are, um, unless they're right out of the fryer. Like, right out of the fryer and... You got to eat them pretty quickly. And maybe it's better if it goes with like their salty fries and things like that. But I'm going to put them at fourth. Uh, maybe it was a wrong dip choice. Sweet and sour might have been a better option. But I'm sure a lot of you are going to sound off in the comments saying that I'm not accurate on that. But uh, that's where they're going. Uh, next, I'm going to put Wendy's at third. Um, nuggets are good. They're pretty affordable. $3.49 for... Actually, does say three forty nine for Burger King? It's four dollars for Burger King. They've gone up in price, so four dollars uh, for eight. So Wendy's is three forty nine plus tax for um, five, six nuggets, six nuggets from Wendy's. Uh, and yeah, third place, they're pretty good nuggets. They retain most of their flavor, even if they cool off a bit. And they've got that great, great ghost pepper sauce. Um, sorry guys, I'm tripping over my words here. I know a lot of other YouTubers do editing and things like that. I'm not a big uh, editor. So I like to do one take. Um, you know, you see all the mistakes and that's, it is what it is. So, uh, number two, I'm going to put KFC. Uh, that popcorn chicken was incredible. Um, surprisingly, I found it used to be a lot worse back in the day, but maybe they've changed the recipe again. Um, especially with that gravy. That gravy is what made it go into second place. Uh, and then first place, I'm going to put Harvey's. Um, you know, it's five bucks. You get five nuggets, so about the same as McDonald's, a dollar a piece. Uh, they're fair-sized pieces of chicken, and it's real chicken breast meat. And they have tons of dip options. Like, I got garlic dill, but there's lots and lots of options there. And they even have, like, their sauces. You could even just ask for a squirt of mustard or a squirt of... You know, hot sauce, whatever you want. They've got so many options at Herbie's. So, Herbie's gets number one spot, guys. Uh, again, let me know down in the comments where you would rate each of these nuggets. Or if there's a nugget I didn't try that you want to see me try in the future. Uh, let's discuss plans going forward. So, I'm at 1,000 subscribers. Now what? Where might the channel go? Um, I'd like to know what you guys think. If you enjoy me doing fast food reviews. If you... You know, would prefer to see me do sit-down restaurants? Do you like the drink reviews on Thursdays? Do you want to see snack reviews? Um, and yeah, 
Um, the next celebration probably won't be until, you know, we hit 2,000 subscribers or maybe 500 videos. I think I'm at about 350 right now, so it's going to be a little while before we're celebrating anything else. But this is a good time for it, just before 2024 is over. Um, hopefully going to get a few more videos out before the end of the year. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today, guys. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Thank you again for getting me up to 1,000 subscribers. Um, for all the support that I've had over the years. And, uh, hey, maybe the next step is mon monetization. That's that's the goal, you know, for any YouTube channel to eventually get monetized. So uh, maybe if that happens, we can celebrate that. So uh, thanks again, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you in the next one.